So hi, we're now back in Chatham this week for um, Red Door Refurb. So the current job we were working on, there's been a delay due to the landlord um, changing some bits and bobs around. So we're gonna move on to this one, which isn't gonna start quite, you know, it's not gonna start immediately, but um, we can see what it is, and then we'll see the finished article once we've done some work. So Jack, let's head inside, have a little look at what we have, um, and what hopefully work's gonna be carried out. So what have we got? Well, we've got a pretty standard um, a third off second, so third bedroom off the second bedroom, um, terraced house in Chatham. So through here, it's gonna be completely magnolia'd, um, ceiling's gonna be done and the woodworks are all painted up, bit of a refresh. Um, and then through in the kitchen, you can see this kitchen probably, oh, probably been here a good 20 years, if not more. So that's all coming out. Got a new kitchen going, um, a new kind of, off-white creams, not quite been decided, but I think that's what the landlord's going for. Um, laminar flooring will be coming up and some new vinyl going down. Again, painted throughout just to give it that really nice kind of fresh feel. Um, and that's it. As you'll see, you know, as we go through these sort of refurbs, you know, it's not an endless pot of money. So the landlords can only do maybe certain bits at a time. So the tenant had been in here for about three years from memory. Um, and was quite happy and everything was fine. They've now moved out, which gives the opportunity to gradually do stuff. So once we've done these bits, I'd imagine the next stage will be the bathroom. Um, but again, it's, it's clean, it's tidy, it does, it does the job. Um, and I think that'll be kind of stage two, just to get the house um, really tip top. So up here, you'll see the bedroom is kind of decorated very much. Uh, geared towards children who were here. So again, once these are taken off, it is gonna leave some kind of marks on the wall um, and little bits here you'll see. So it needs proper filling, proper decorating. Flooring, as it happens, it's not that bad and it'll be fine. One of the things you'll notice in these type of houses, third off second. So what I would do personally, this bit here, which goes right the way through to the second bedroom. What I would do personally, is I'd partition off across here and I'd move the bathroom up here. So the third off the second bedroom just doesn't work for modern day living now. Um, so I'd have the bathroom in there, a corridor through here. So you'd come from this bedroom, door into the hallway, into the bedroom, and you'd have this walkway, which would take you to the front bedroom, the master bedroom, giving two private individual be bedrooms and an upstairs bathroom. Okay, so that's us finished here for the time being. Uh, the budget that the landlord had for the works in here was 6,000, so we had to kind of come up what can get done in here for 6,000, what's gonna be the most benefit, but also, you know, are they gonna get that money back? And I'd say easy, 6,000 pounds spent decorating a new kitchen in here, it's definitely gonna put 10, if not a little bit more on the house. So it's gonna make it more rentable, it's gonna increase, you know, uh, increase the amount of rent that we can charge, but also it's gonna lift that capital value. So for a 6,000 investment, 10 or 12,000 on the house, absolute winner. So it's gonna take just under three weeks to get done, um, starting in, I think, two weeks time. So we'll, uh, we'll come back to you and let you know how it's going and hopefully you'll see the finished article. Thanks very much. See you later, Jack. I'm out of here.